everyone, Conrad Angel Corral here for your CCTV. Did you know that Mary Pickford is now one of the premier building energy storage operations in the country? That's right, that means that this entire place is now off the grid 24 hours a day. Join me as we learn how the Mary Pickford is reducing their carbon footprint. Joining me today now inside of the Mary Pickford Theater is Damon Rubio, who is the founder of Deep Place Entertainment and also the operators of the Mary Pickford. Did I get that correct? That is correct. Good yeah. deal. All right, one down, then over to the right. We also have Ron Harris, who is the managing member and CEO of Aterna. Aterna? Aterna. Aterna, which, which, are, which is the company organization that brought the energy world here. Is correct. that correct? Correct. And yes. we're going to come back to that in just a moment. All right, good deal, good deal. So first of all, to both of you, I want to let you, I want to say congratulations on bringing the Mary Pickford into the renewable world, energy world. Um, and when I say that, I also want to talk quickly to our audience in that sometimes when people start talking uh, megawatts or kilowatts or renewable energy, they get this glossy look in their eyes. and like, I don't know what you're talking about. So I want to assure our, our viewing audience that these two gentlemen and I are going to do our best to make it interesting and to make it, well, we'll see if we can make it sexy. We're in How's show that? business. We're in so, show business. You know, it's all about making <laughs> It's there exciting. you go. That's good. So now we have your attention, right? So we're gonna we're gonna talk renewable energy now. So let's go ahead and start off first with: Are there other theaters, other entertainment organizations this size that have moved as quickly and as far into the renewable energy as the Mary Pickford has? So I can tell you there are some theaters that have deployed solar solutions before. But uh, as Ron will tell you here in a second, what we've done here is taken it a step further uh, and really taken advantage of some of the new uh, uh, proven technologies that are out there. Uh, and, and we've basically created a system that combines not just solar, but also uh, you know, power storage. And I would, I would say that that is the key, right? That's the one, two, to make three especially here at this or at this right right the most important part is uh, the whole state is looking towards energy storage in fact they they just passed uh, the assembly just passed two uh, monumental bills one senate bill 100 the other is senate bill 700 which uh, is basically stating that uh, the state is going to move towards 100 percent renewable energies by 2045 and Senate Bill 700 is allocated uh, seven to eight hundred million towards energy storage, which is going to help solve a lot of the uh, utility uh, pain in so the next few years. So I have a question for you. So if these bills just passed, when you guys were organizing and getting this project up, ready to roll, were you, I want to check off Senate Bill this and legislation that, or you just were building and then you saw as bills came along, hey, we've already done that, we've already done that. Uh, well, pretty much when we did an analysis of the theater and we looked at solar and the addition of energy storage, um, we found that it was uh, the best solution, uh, which is where the state has actually been trying to move towards for the last several years. Hmm. Okay. So it, it, uh, it really helps achieve that um, taking the solar that may be uh, an overproduction and being able to store the power to use in an after hours condition when the sun goes down. So right. as a theater operation, um, they operate mainly at night. The majority of their people, the majority of their movies is at night. So it made sense for this particular model to use the energy storage and uh, solve that problem. And let's talk about the, that one and two. So. Mm -hmm. I, I come to the theater quite often and I, I can see that there is some kind of solar energy, solar initiative going on here because you can see out in the parking lot the cover is solar panels and so we all know here in the desert what solar panels are so we know right away there's, there's something going on which is great. What we don't know is what's going on up on the roof or, or somewhere in the back where this large battery is grabbing and holding that information right. and that, that that really is the one and two yeah. I and mean, what's cool is so yeah you're right you don't get to see our roof uh, from the, the ground level and if you did you'd see there are a lot more solar panels than we even have in the parking lot I mean, oh is that right we did the calculation the other day and if we put all of our solar panels end to end we'd be 164 feet short of two miles. Oh my gosh, is so that that's right? that's a lot of solar panels. So we're excited wow. about that, which means it's a lot of energy production. But as Ron was saying, you know, it's great that we can produce all that energy f from solar, but 
if we don't have a way of actually taking advantage of that right. when the sun goes down, exactly. it's just, you know, it's wasted. So That's the big key. The, so when did this, the, the, the idea and when did the equipment start coming in? Uh, the Tamanjan family, the ownership of the theater approached me in November of 2015 with the idea of looking at uh, the application of solar for the theater. And uh, so over the course of about a year, year and a half, we began to look at uh, the financial applications and we also looked at the application of energy storage uh, for the theater. And it, it just penciled out to be the correct solution for the theater. So let's talk, and this, this, is, this is where it gets a little rough, but let's talk kilowatts, megawatts. Tell me how much. Jiggle ones. Oh, jiggle ones. <laughs> hey, trust me, I'm going to go, okay, I'll, I'll, I believe it. I'll, I'll talk. You've got I'll, a DeLorean <laughs> in the back, you know? No, okay, I can't wait till we see that. Uh, but let's talk those numbers. W what are you grabbing? What are you using? Someone, mm -hmm. one of you know that information? Sure, sure. I'll take it from here. Okay. The solar consists of 1,560 solar modules, uh, 620,000 watts of DC power, and it produces 1.1 million kilowatt hours of power each year, and that's a lot of power. So we've learned a lot. Let's now learn about the upcoming September event called Flip the Switch. If they, yeah. That's cool. Why don't you tell our audience about that? Well, we're excited because, you know, obviously this is a big undertaking. Yeah. Exactly like it sounds, we're going to throw the switch on this amazing uh, energy solution. And is this just for other businesses or can the public come and be part of it also? So it's really part of uh, our outreach to business leaders and community folks okay. uh, in that sense. Good. Side. Okay, guys. Well, I am excited about this technology. I think our viewers are also so I say we go show them this equipment. That'd be cool. Sure. All right. Let's do it. All right. So I'm here with Ron in the lobby. Now, just because renewable energy is going on around you and you really can't see it, when you come into the lobby, you can look at this screen here and it'll tell you everything that's going on. Ron, why don't you tell us a bit about this? Sure. This particular screen is uh, an also energy product, which shows the solar production, the usage of power that's being uh, produced by the solar, used by the building, whether we're putting on the grid, taking from the grid when we're using the energy storage. So, so tell us what's happening. This is today's production and the collective sum total of production since we started the system. On the right, you can see equivalencies of uh, so green savings. So for example, just since it's been on in the first month, we have an equivalent savings of over 10,000 gallons of gas. And this is changing all the time. Always changing, change per season, changes. Uh, it's always updated every 15 minutes. So if you want to check out what's happening solar-wise here, come into the lobby. This screen here will show you everything that's happening. Let's take our viewers where most people don't get to go. Is that correct? Let's go. So we're behind the door now. We're behind the door, everybody. And this is, Ron, this is what? This is where the battery is? Yes, we call this the uh, energy plant, so the energy storage yard, where we have the container of batteries. Let's go. I want to see. All right. Uh, this container was produced by Energyport, and uh, they are manufacturers I pull one? out of Fremont. Please. What am I doing here? So these are wow. So these are the lithium iron phosphate batteries that store energy produced by the solar and we utilize that in the off hours after the sun goes down which is uh, pretty much what the entire state is going to do and that's their intent uh, through Senate Bill 700 that was just passed both the utilities and uh, all the commercial and private in uh, industry would want to do this because it's a very economical and uh, a great way to save money long term. It's a good benefit to your operational cost. So I would think, as someone who doesn't really know much about this, that a bunch of batteries have got to be hot. Mm -hmm. But I'm inside of air conditioning here. Right. Well, we're, uh, we're on the desert. And we wanted to make sure that we have maintained a temperature of the batteries. They operate much better, uh, have a much better scale of operation when we keep them cool. So uh, the air conditioning uh, that's connected to the container actually works off the batteries as well. Is that right? Wow, that's, it's all working. It's all working together. It's all working together to achieve the best possible uh, case and minimize the electrical usage on the grid. 
Let me ask you this question. How many batteries are, are, are there two sides to this or is this a? No, the uh, full side here is batteries and the opposite side is also full of batteries. And do you know, are, do you know how many batteries are on this side and how many are on that side? I don't know whether that matters, but it's interesting to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the full container is somewhere around 850 batteries. Is that right? Wow. Each shelf has uh, eight independent batteries and uh, uh, you can see there's a lot. Yes, yes. There's a lot. And how long did this take to come in, to be installed? This being such a large custom unit was about six months in production before it arrived on site. Wow, wow. And this is some of the stuff we talked about a little bit earlier that you don't, we as, as the customers outside, we don't really see this, but there's work going on. Right. In fact, when you go to the monitor inside at night and you see the... Uh, energy coming from the batteries, you'll know it's working. Oh, all right, this is very interesting. Thank you for showing us this. Sure, you're welcome. Okay, folks, this is really a treat because not only did we get to go behind the Bronze Gate downstairs behind the Mary Pickford, but we are now on the roof and you can see solar panels are here. Ron, talk to me. Sure. So uh, the roof has 1,125 400 watt. LG electronic solar modules. Is that the largest? Uh, that is one of the top 3% of available modules. And the reason we selected it is because it's been shown and tested to produce up to 8% more power in a high heat environment. Wow. Okay. Uh, also, the racking system is an Iron Ridge racking system and it's elevated off the roof. So why would we elevate it off the roof? Well, uh, solar works better the cooler it is, so this allows for airflow under it to keep it a little bit cooler. Also, what many solar companies don't consider when they're speaking with the owners of the buildings is someday you're going to have to re-roof. This system does not have to be removed. It can remain in place, remain operational. That's because it's not on the roof. It's not it's on the roof. It's, we're under the modules now. It's elevated high enough to where the roofing company can come in any time, do any kind of repair they wish at any time. All right. So how long did it take to put all of these solar panels up here? Uh, the racking system, the solar modules, the electrical wiring and components took about 10 weeks. Ten, wow, that's, that's very different than our residential solar, which I think took us two or three days maybe at the most. Mm -hmm. right? that's, it's, this is a big process. So we have solar panels pretty much as far as I could see, it seems like for sure. Mm -hmm. And then you must have, are there more batteries up here also, or is it just solar panels? This is here? all solar, and uh, what we do is we design to make sure the shading uh, is uh, the least impact from row to row to make sure that we get maximum production throughout the year, even in the winter months when the sun's lower in the sky. And I think it's important for us to note that, so our residents know this, when you come to the Mayor Pickford, you see the solar panels over the parking structure. That's just those parking, those solar panels. There's a whole nother role, a whole nother world up here on top of the roof. Yes. Wow. Solar power, kilowatts, megawatts, batteries. It's all happening here at the Mary Pipper because they are now off the grid 24 hours a day. Thank you for having us here. Thank you, Conrad. All right. Thank you. Now you too can come to the Mary Pipper Theater and enjoy your favorite movie in the coolest environment powered by the sun.